Hey, YouTubers, El Paso Tom here. A lot of you guys have asked me about the military sleep system, and while I'll probably do a separate review of that uh, later, um, a lot of people want to know about just using just the bivy part, and that's what I do almost uh, exclusively. Is I use this, uh, is I use this uh, the bivy, and a couple different weighted bags. Uh, in the far near in the near area, you see the Marmot Hydrogen, and then the Marmot Pinnacle, and then a the Feathered Friend Snow Bunting, uh, overstuffed, a couple inches. And uh, so I got a I got a Weeblow Scout here, Matthew. Hi, how's it going? I'm gonna come take the camera, and we're gonna get into this uh, into this video. All right, here we go. So, excuse my voice, just got over the flu, but uh, snow finally melted here. Got a decent day, so I thought I'd come out and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of video. But in the winter time, what I like to do um, when I'm making my pad system is I like to use the air pad. Uh, in this case, it's a uh, it's a Pro Air um, by Thermarest on the bottom to create the dead air space. Then I like to use the, the Z-Fold, uh, Z, the Thermarest Z-Lite pad on that. It seems to make me feel a little bit warmer than having to compress uh, that, uh, the air right under my hip bones. So I have this military sleep system over here, which is actually a very nice piece of, uh, piece of equipment. One thing you want to notice is the different lofts of these, uh, these bags. The, this Marmot Hydrogen is a, is a 30 degree bag. Uh, depending on how you sleep, 30 to 40 degrees maybe. Um, I was okay down to about uh, 40, maybe 39 in, and I got a little chilled. But I was in uh, just shorts and a t-shirt. The Pinnacle is a 15 degree bag. And then the Feathered Friend Snow Bunting um, with the overfill is good down to about oh, 0 or 5. Now, on the military sleep system here, you're getting two different benefits from this. Um, you're going to get uh, some waterproof protection from the gore membrane that's inside. And then, you know, just by adding another layer of dead air space above your bag, you're probably going to get maybe 5, maybe 10 degrees more warmth depending on how you sleep. So let's look inside the bag. So basically what we have here is we just have a Gore-Tex camouflage, woodland camouflage Gore-Tex shell with Gore seam tape on everything to keep it waterproof. And I just open it up and stuff a bag down inside of it. Start with the Marmot Hydrogen. Then, in the warmer times, I mean, sometimes I just carry just this bivy sack and a light blanket or a whoopee, uh, a military poncho liner with me, and you can just roll up in that inside this and be just fine in the summer. Uh, in the winter time, though, you may want a bag. Uh, it, just, it gets warm, you can just uh, unzip it or leave the snaps open. But just snap this closed over yourself. You have a nice way to, to uh, protect yourself from frost or dew or, you know, some rain or something that gets under your poncho or your tarp if you're tarp camping. And then do that. The, uh, the military sleep bivy Gore-Tex uh, cover is very, very lightweight. It doesn't, it doesn't weigh a lot, so it doesn't really push down. Um, maybe when you get in the big high lofting bags, like a 0, minus 10, minus 20 degree bag that lofts 10, 11, or 12 inches high, uh, there might be some consideration as to whether the, uh, the sleep system would be compressing that down and not letting it loft for its maximum, uh, for its maximum warmth. But certainly uh, down to 5 degrees or 0 even for most of these bags, uh, it should work just fine. So, this is a couple bags I use and the way I use the military sleep system bivy. And uh, send me comments and I hope it helps. See you later.